Good morning, Hero Wars fans. There's a new three-day skin-based event running from Thursday to Saturday, and another three-day event starting on Sunday. The event that will start on Sunday is a pet-based event. However, it seems to be a small event since there are only seven event category tabs. The main advantage of pet breeding is that you can change the master of your pet, so you can always strengthen your heroes in battle without wasting time. If you train a hero and he or she is not on your main team, the resources you invested in him or her will not be utilized, but a pet can always support your hero's skills by simply changing its master. Since pets can be thought of as replaceable items, pet events are something that I look forward to a lot. Now, to get to the point, I have recently started researching Envari countermeasures. Among the top 50 players in the arena, about 20% have adopted Envari as their main team. Lately I've been running away from Envari whenever I see them, but I don't think I can keep playing hide and seek forever. So, using the guild battle feature, I've been researching how to organize my team against Envari for the past few days. I think there are two types of Anvari countermeasures, team composition that includes Kark and team composition that does not use Kark. In my case, I would like to face Anvari using a team composition that includes Kark. This image shows the team composition including Anvari used by the top 50 players in the arena on server 11, and I was impressed by how well thought out all the teams were. If I were to go up against these Anvari team formations with my current main team, the chances of winning the arena would be slim to none. In Chinese politics, there is a famous saying, there are policies above and measures below. If we apply that phrase to hero wars, I think we can say, Kark on top, Anvari below. There's no need to apply Chinese political terms to hero wars, right? Now, the gameplay of Hero Wars can be roughly described as rock paper scissors. If you can see the weaknesses or characteristics of your opponent's team composition, there's no opponent you can beat. As such, the Anvari countermeasure I've found so far results in something like this image. Basically, i found that I can fight off opponents who attack with critical hits with the combination of Orion and Helios. Also, my research over the past few days has shown that King Mao, which is capable of attacking for pure damage, is effective in focusing attacks on Anvari, who is a hindrance to the Kark team. When I was in elementary school, I used to offer my own rock-paper-scissors after my opponent had offered his rock-paper-scissors bomb. Well, I was called a coward in elementary school for playing rock-paper-scissors, but now it's a heartwarming episode. Tonight, there will be a live broadcast on the official YouTube channel of Hero Wars, where you can win prizes such as Totem. By the time this video is posted, the time for the live broadcast will be approaching, so let's post our game IDs in the comment section of the live broadcast video right away and pray for a chance to win Totem. Now, it's time for the video to end. For those of you who have always felt that Hero Wars is a rock paper scissors game, please subscribe to my channel. So, thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.